Hey everybody, it's Jess from Madden Crafts again, and I am back with another haul video for you. A couple of months ago, I did my first Facebook Live video, which was a haul of fall items that I got from Dollar Tree and Consumer Crafts. And as it happens, I have enough stuff that I recently bought from those same two stores that I can do another haul today. But today I'm going to be sharing Christmas supplies. Now, before we get started, I want to get this out of the way. If you are somebody who is kind of a stickler for only celebrating the holidays as they come, such as not decorating or talking about Christmas or listening to Christmas carols until Thanksgiving is over, this is not the channel for you. This is not the video for you. In fact, probably most craft vlogs are not going to be for you because I put my decorations up at the latest the day after Thanksgiving and that means if I'm going to make anything that I want to decorate with this year, I have to be starting now. Like I've got three weeks to get all my Christmas decorations made so that I can put them up when Thanksgiving is over. So that's why I'm doing this haul already because I need these supplies now because I need to start working right now. All right, I think I see some people are starting to kind of filter into the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're not already a fan of the Madden Crafts Facebook page, please uh, hit that like button. And if you are watching the replay on YouTube, again, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, everybody visit me on my blog. All right, I got all that stuff taken, taken care of. All right, um, last time I started first with the Dollar Tree supplies, so I figured I might as well just do the same thing tonight. hope that's okay with everybody. Um, uh Dollar Tree is actually pretty good for finding Christmas decorations and supplies to make your own Christmas decorations. I am once again going for, like you can kind of see from my shirt tonight, uh, a rustic, cozy kind of vibe with my Christmas decorations. I tend not to do an entirely new theme every year. I try to make things and then build on them year and year and year. So if you were uh, following my blog for the past couple of years, you would see that one year I made a bunch of plaid crafts, and the next year I made a bunch of fair aisle, you know, like the, the ski sweater pattern. That's a fair aisle sweater. I made a bunch of crafts with fair aisle, and fair aisle and plaid go together very well. And this year I'm just going to be adding in lots of, lots of rustic touches to that, like wood, raw wood, a little bit of burlap. So those things all go together because I don't like making a bunch of projects and then having to throw them out the next year. I want to keep using them from year to year. So what I've gotten from both Consumer Crafts and Dollar Tree kind of fits with that theme. Both stores carry Christmas supplies in a larger range than that. You can find really glittery stuff. You can find kind of modern things. But most of my supplies are going to be that rustic look because that's what I'm going for this year. All right. So first off, I'm going to show you what I got at Dollar Tree. And in Dollar Tree already, I mean, they were stocking Christmas decorations at least two weeks ago at my local store. So I'm sure you can find them in your store right now. I went the other day specifically looking for Christmas supplies, and I was excited to see these ornaments, which I think are really cute for a dollar. They're felt on the back, and then the front is burlap, and more felt and then some like pine berries, pine cone situation. They're a decent size. I have tiny hands, but you can see they're probably about four and a half to five inches in diameter. And I got them in the plain tan burlap and in the red burlap. And I thought that was a really pretty red. It's sort of a darker, deeper red. Um, a lot of the Dollar Tree Christmas supplies stick to traditional colors, red, white, green, gold, silver. Um, but this is a little bit of a darker red, which I, I was really drawn to. And yes, Katie, they are toddler proof. I mean, well, first of all, they only cost a dollar. So if something happens to it, it's not the end of the world. But they're, they're just kind of stuffed with polyfill and they're, you know, burlap and felt. So it's probably, you know, you wouldn't want your kids chewing on it, but they're not going to be able to break it. So I got, let's see, I got four of those. I may not use them on my tree. I may use them um, on a garland or maybe on my mantle. I haven't decided the specifics yet. 
kind of along with the snowflake theme, I found these ornaments at my Dollar Tree as well. They are, I think it's just resin, resin snowflakes, but they've got sort of a faux finish on them to make them look like birch. It's kind of cheap looking. I may see if I can adjust it or repaint it so it looks a little less like it's just dirty. Um, but I like the idea of like twig snowflakes, again with the, the pine and then some little jingle bells right in the middle. And these are pretty good size too. They're, let's see, are they bigger than? Yeah, they're even slightly bigger than the last ornaments I showed you. So these are really nice to make a statement. You could even do one or two or three of these in the middle of a wreath, like a wood wreath. And that would be, you know, all the decorations you would really need on that. Um, let's see, I got one, two, three of those. And I don't know if you could tell, and, the, and it's, I can tell because it's getting all over me. The pine needles on this one are slightly flocked and glittered. It's shedding like crazy. Don't count on dollar store glitter to stay put because it won't. Um, but it still is kind of pretty. Just don't rub your fingers across it if you can help it. All right. Sticking with that sort of pine sprig theme, I bought several of these rustic word ornaments. Um, the background is sort of a distressed tan green and red paint finish. And then it's got this sort of same berry pine and pine cone sprig. And that was kind of a theme. I like that Dollar Tree seems to be creating collections with their ornaments. They have, um, you know, white glitter, red glitter. They have this kind of rustic section. So you could go in and if you want to start from scratch on maybe your very first Christmas tree ever, you could just pick from one column and, you know, theme your tree very easily and very cheaply. All right, so this one says peace. And then they also sell them in the word love. And I'm realizing now this is probably backwards for you guys. I don't know what it is about Facebook Live it, maybe it's because of the, the front-facing video, but everything's going to be backwards. So sorry about that. Um, it doesn't say evil. It says love. So there's that one. And then the third one, as you might have already guessed, is joy. And I bought lots of these. Um, there's at least three more I can see in the bag. I decorate a couple of trees besides our own tree in November. And one of the trees I did last year and we'll be doing again this year is the tree at my dad's church in their fellowship hall. And we're going to be changing the theme up a little bit this year. And I'll show you some more ornaments I bought for that tree in a minute. But I thought the peace, joy, and love ornaments would look pretty on that tree as well. And then, this one's actually a craft supply, not a finished product. I got one of these grapevine wreaths. It's called a willow wreath, but that's not really what it is. Um, my idea is to make sort of a minimal rustic wreath, wreath for our front door this year. I made a yarn palm, oh, talk just <laughs> a yarn palm wreath a few years ago that I've dressed up a couple of different ways, but it might be time to come up with something new. So I bought this, and I think any of the ornaments that I've bought and showed you so far would work on this wreath form. And again, it's a dollar. You'll pay, this one's not in great shape because I've kind of manhandled it, but nothing hot glue won't fix. But this would cost several dollars at a typical craft store and it's only a buck at Dollar Tree. All right, so we've got my first bag done. We've got two more to go. The next one is entirely filled with one kind of ornament. You remember I told you that I am going to be decorating the tree for my dad's church. The church where he's a pastor is, it's not that far from the city, but it looks like your quintessential white uh, church out in the country. It's got a tall white steeple and cute little doors in the front. <clears throat> so I was really excited to see Dollar Tree carrying these ornaments. They look very... <coughs> Excuse me, we've got the crud going around the house right now. Uh, very similar to my dad's church. And then they've got, again, the pine cone berries, pine needle, 
embellishment on there. It's got the shetty glitter. I don't know if you can see that or if my lighting is throwing it off, which isn't great. It's not my favorite. Um, but it, in the grand scheme of things, to have a bunch of ornaments that look pretty similar to the church that they'll be sitting in is really cool. So I bought 10 of those because I wanted this to be kind of the statement repeated throughout the tree. I'm not exactly sure how that tree is going to come together, so keep an eye on my blog. Once I get it all finished and decorated, I will be sharing the tutorial and the pictures on my blog, just like I did last year. All right, so that takes care of a whole bag of ornaments because I bought 10 of those for the tree. The last ones that I got from Dollar Tree are noisy. Can you hear those? Um, they had these super cute giant jingle bell ornaments, which are annoying because they are noisy. I kind of wish I could take the little roller ball out of them. Um, but I suppose if you hung one on the door, it might be kind of cute. But again, it's got the burlap, it's got the pine, it's got the pine cone. And I bought the, it's just sort of a regular gloss white finish. They also carried them in white glitter red glitter and gold glitter i think but i believe all of them still had the burlap and the pine cones and the pine so if you are going for a more glam tree or you have more glitter on your tree um they've got you covered so i bought quite a few of these as well because the white color and the large size um, will show up really well against a green tree and then it also i mean it kind of looks like a regular round ornament but it's a little bit different because it's a giant nickel bell. So I thought those were really cute. And then the last type of ornament I bought were these, which I thought were pretty sophisticated looking for Dollar Tree. These large, let's see, they're probably four or five inch tall branch tree ornaments. And they come in packs of two, which means they're only 50 cents a piece. Again, they've got that garbage glitter all over them and all over me now, but they're very pretty. And since they are large in size, you can get away with not using as many of them, but still making an impact on the tree. So I think I bought, jingle, jingle, jingle. I think I bought four sets of two and eight ornaments of this size. I mean, it will show up really well on a tree or a wreath or a garland, however you end up using them. Again, I haven't decided how I'm gonna use these yet but I thought they were really pretty. All right, so that's what I got at Dollar Tree last week. Like I said, they I focused in only on the ornaments and products that fit my, you know, my needs this year. So they're kind of all rustic. If you have a more modern look, um, they had lots of glittery sort of herald trumpeting angel ornaments. They had some really cool ones that almost look like metal, gold metal filigree or... Um, like cast metal, but that, that it didn't really work with what I needed this year. I was tempted to buy them just because I like them, but I'm a cheapskate, so I don't do a lot of unnecessary spending. Um, so that's what I got at Dollar Tree, and now I'm going to move on to the products I bought from Consumer Crafts.